Wow. Well, it's secrets just... in time. Just like that. They need everything they can to be able to five man smoke straight into Blink. Might be able to pick up the first blood as they should be able to run it down. They a little bit of extra damage. And sure enough, there it is. Now the question. Wait, wait, there it is. All right, Pilot Eye picks up the first blood. Now the question is whether or not they're going to be able to get anything wrap around behind the, uh, the off lake Tidehunter and see if they can get an early kill. They've already managed to get the stun, and the right-click damage is pretty immense here, so they should be able to get this kill. Bian tries to put himself into the side shot, but is just not going to be able to make it out alive. I think he was hoping to be able to get into the trees. And He's starting on to save 500 gold. It was almost like he was trying to evaluate the situation. Can I contest this lane, mm -hmm. or do I need to Iron Talon jungle? And He's going to look back and say, okay, probably made the wrong call. Expecting the Io to spend more time at bottom, and Secret, as soon as they see the tide up there, we're ready to contest. Uh, Shadow, is he actually dead? There's no Nightmare to be able to stop this one. Universe, he's got the kill. He's going to get one more right click, finish him off. He may actually die here as the tower does get a couple of shots on him, and the return kill does go to Ice Eyes, but still, a big win, pull it off, and that is where the Enchantress is going to be. Wrapping around behind the Tier 1 tower now, just trying to get in range. Does manage to get the purge, but still, our Wind Ranger is a little distance away. He does manage to start Soul Siphoning up, and it looks like he's going to be able to survive off of that, and Innocence is going to go down in return, not really valuing that spirit. If Wings can actually deny that, they'll be okay, but doesn't look like Seeker to give them the opportunity. They're actually going to go for Bian here. Managed to get the stun, the follow-up Spirit Siphon. Can't actually cleanse that one off, so they are going to be able to just run him down underneath that Tier 1 tower and probably turn it into a being able to play this, this Fen as the kind of Echo Saber and as he's like a SMY, that kind of like very stat heavy build is the way to go. Arteezy uses Invis to be able to scout out Ice Ice inside the Roshan pit and he will be taken out. So they save the stack, keep him down with the dagger. The rest of Wings is coming in, but the exorcism is still out. The universe is actually going to jump in. The Ravage goes down. Maybe they can actually pop Universe real quickly and still fight Arteezy, or maybe not. Here comes the reload. He goes for Innocence. He's going to be the first one down for the Sven as they are able to finish him off with Cleave. Now Shadow tries to get away, but he's cleaned up Arteezy's nukes. Double kill for him and Secret. Other than the Bat Rider, they can only kill one of the two targets, and the Death Prophet, they probably can't even kill in that situation, so... The really Highlight Eye, Caught in the River, is going to go down. Okay. But, uh... We're seeing Universe going to go for these solo pickoffs, but I think he should be kind of spending more time with Arteezy, with the team, taking objectives. Highlight Eye, will pop the dagger. Ice Ice, oh, actually just straight up comes forward, to get the beam tripping out of silence. The combo, Rabbit actually goes down, but all of Wings are so damn low, they're not going to be able to follow this one up real well, unless Arteezy actually goes down the focus fire, he's going to be able to finish him off. Ice Ice gets taken out by Eternal Envy, but he needs the protection of Highlight Eye. What? Oh. Blink? Hello. Faith checks the wards, and now they actually might be able to have enough to be able to go forward. Ice Blast onto Shadow, but Eternal Envy couldn't get the right click. The universe jumps forward, catches Innocence, and they will be able to get a fourth kill. Not Spectre, but instead, the Enchantress. Both teams not really showing their A-game here. We 4,000 of their net worth with the Spectre just picking up the Relic now, so... We're very much at that stage of the game where, if anything, Wings just want to try and get it. 20 minutes, they should be able to build this up even further, barring any major mistakes and we'll see whether or not those mistakes do come. Puppy is going to be caught out trying to do the counter warding. It looks like maybe just a free one off to relocate. Also going to be coming down onto Bian. He does have the Ravage. He wants the blow to be able to save himself, and he does so. They did get the ancient. Go for our tour. Managed to get the sleep onto him. Dagger will wake him back up, but they managed to get the help air smash as well there. Arteezy turns around for the silence. Actually now going for the spirit type with the universe jumping in. The ultimate goes out for the Spectre, but it doesn't really seem to be enough. Arteezy, there's just not enough damage to be able to focus him down. And it's in starts throwing out their shots, and now Eternal Envy is here. He's going to go straight for Blink, forcing that win run out of him, while Arteezy's right in the middle of two different heroes, should be able to take out both rather easily. Eternal Envy's going to be the focus of this focus fire, and he's actually dropping pretty damn fast. The Ice Blast coming in, not going to be able to land, but Arteezy still looking for the chase. Innocence being slowed down, looks like Universe should be able to get in front of him with the Bat Rider, and a one for three exchange there, clearly to the favor of Secret. The sleep at bottom lane on the Death Prophet did actually force two rotations from Secret, and they might be able to catch, yeah, they're going to be able to catch Ice Ice. So they're going to pull him back in for Arteezy to be able to munch on, and Universe will be the one to pick up the kill. They, they can fully commit to a Rax here. I think if your wings are okay losing a T3 tower here, you don't want to force a really bad fight. And now the Exorcism is going to run out, and Arteezy 
will be healed up. So, Secret, go ahead and call it a day. Back out. Take it to Tier 3, and not game-changing initiation from him. But that seems to be the only way right now for Wings to be able to win a fight. They're going to be able to jump here in the top lane. Go for a turtle Envy, yeah, actually pops the BKB. Ravage goes down, trying to stop that relocate, but the relocate still actually goes down. Eternal Envy is going to be being scripted up. Miscommunication from Secret, but Eternal Envy maybe just farmed enough to be able to do okay here. He gets at least the Tide before he ends up dying. Now Pylai Die is going to be brought right back. What was that, Gods? I, a reload slow. Um, it's going to be really tough for Envy, even fighting into the Nightmare in the late game. If he's got a 5 second BKB, he really needs to rely on that long duration one, which is why he picks it up so late in his item build. Key fighting here is the Wind Ranger and the Spectre. Wind Ranger a little bit short, so perhaps trying to farm it at this top lane before the push comes, but Arteezy's ready to force this one. Gush, as well as Dagger, already being used. I almost feel like this is uh, a near impossible scenario for Wings to be able to save this lane of Rax. Got to pop the cliff, get to sleep. Now the jump in, Universe is going to be able to catch Innocence. The ultimate is popped, and they get a really good feed strip onto Eternal Heavy with the BKB activated. They can't actually do anything to be able to save and the relocate. May actually come out now as Pilot Guy makes a tether in, but it's just under where it's easy. Buffing him up as much as possible. Eternal Heavy may have dropped a little low, but it's Arteezy who's become the main carry now as he challenges the rest of Wings as a full five man with the Aegis now still intact. Good Jackal Shot. Going to be able to buy some time. Good Ravage as they manage to get Universe in the background as well, finishing Mop with a sleep and a couple of right clicks while Arteezy still becomes the main focus. Shadow is already cleaned up. Pylai die Wisp and will be able to make sure there's no escape for Arteezy in life number two. So that's why he just pull out commit suicide and that means for at least another 30 seconds they are going to go for a smoke and attempted pick onto the side hunter. Not going to be able to get you in but they will be able to get Ice Ice instead. Pulling him back in. That's a free kill for sure as he tries to go for the deny on himself in the nightmare but no possibility, and now with that, he may actually be able to still go high ground. Still waiting on that Ravage, no Bane for 45 seconds. Jump forward, Jackal Shot, not actually the latch, and a really great silence is the return from Arteezy. They're not even worrying about heroes at this point in time. They take the building, melee racks down, and now try and get out of here. Good blink away, just in time by the Sven, trying to get some distance. Shadow, he's going to go for the jump forward, though, managed to get Pylai Dive. What else can they get? Arteezy managed to run himself back while Puppy TPs away. But this time they're like, no, we know the exact cooldown on Ravage. We've got 10 seconds before it's up. Let's get something done. Yeah, and they're going to get a little bit more done as just Vision is all that's needed to be able to catch Innocence in the relocate gang. Didn't even stand a chance. Its owner is not giving it a fighting chance. Come on now. Come on now. That's just cruel. Forcing it to stand there, take the punishment. Eternal Envy's got an opening, he managed to get the Bane. And now with the BKBs pop, there's nothing Dan can actually do. The Ravage ready to go, but he's trying to wait out the timers. It's just not going to be good enough. Shadow has to pull out retreat. There is the buyback on the Tidehunters, so Secrets may not be able to push high ground unless they can actually get more. They have found it. Shadow is going to be corralled by Universe back into the team. And now Sven with a Wisp behind him, increasing that attack speed. And Wings, well, they're just waiting for their doom, essentially. Secret, get every advantage that they need. It's going to be an agent. When he defends, it's going to pop out of smoke, so this gets even more obvious. Oh, dear. Oh, Ateezy. Oh, the smoke actually pops now. The BKB activator, they're going to go for Innocence here. Easy. 1,300 damage critical. Sleep goes down from Ice Ice. I have no idea what Wings are planning now with their two supports already down. B Ravage, ready to go. The BKBs are down, so this will be a successful stun on many of these heroes. But are they actually ever going to have the damage? The God Strength is going to be running out soon, but now the Exorcism comes out from Arteezy. He's going to be challenging Shadow immediately. Eternal Envy is going to be taking some Focus Fire damage, but really it's just not enough as Arteezy is challenging anybody, anybody to fight him. Now they go for the back line. They will maybe be able to get through Eternal Envy. as Pilot Dying barely managed to keep him alive as EE just doesn't care. He's going for the racks, and there they get it. Forcing out the GG call from Wings. Secret will push this to a game three and keep their hopes alive in this group. Ooh, some, some really good IO play this game coming out from Pile I Die. Just finding numerous saves. Even at the end there, it got to the tether with the cheese to keep Envy alive a bit longer. But mm -hmm. I think the, the big problem for Wings was the laning stage going as badly as it did. They tried to force a few ganks like they were diving the Death Prophet mid and just feeding him extra kills when Pile I Die TP'd in. Uh, and on top of that, they were entirely dependent on the Tide Ravage to fight, and that just really was their undoing here. Anytime it was on cooldown, yeah, Roshan.